Hey what's up my baby G's, it is me Manisha and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with 18 mascara hacks. If I wanted to make my lashes look the best that they can possibly be without wearing false eyelashes, um, then I would definitely follow these steps. The demonstration will kind of follow through with the hacks. So I hope you find this video really useful, really informative and I hope you can take at least one thing away from it. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first hack involves a kind of dry tube of mascara. This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara in the travel size form. And what you want to do to make the consistency a bit smoother um, and a bit easier to apply is just taking, you know, any mug of hot water and you just wanna put the mascara in there for um, two to three minutes. The warmth of the water will kind of loosen up the formula inside the tube and it will just make it so much easier to apply. Um, I decided to use a travel size mascara which doesn't fit into the muck so now I'm just sort of having to wait here for two to three minutes holding it up because you don't want to be fishing around in boiling hot water for your mascara. Okay so now that your mascara is successfully kind of warmed up, I don't know what I was expecting from shaking it, but um, just to sort of make it extend a little bit further, what you want to do is taking some saline solution, so this is kind of the liquid you use for contact lenses, I'm a contact lens wearer, I wear contact lenses every single day, so this is kind of just something that I have on hand, but basically what you want to do with this is you want to apply two to three drops of it in the tube to sort of re-wet the formula. There's one, two, three, one for luck. And give it a little bit of a shake. And I can already like, I don't know, feel? I can, I can like hear it, like it's a lot more loose. Um, so that would be nice to apply. Hack number three is curling your eyelashes. This actually makes the biggest difference ever. I'm gonna move you closer in for the rest of the video so you can kind of see everything that's going on with my eyelashes a bit clearer. Curling your eyelashes too often isn't good for them, so don't do this every single day. Do it for special occasions, um, but to make the sort of curl last a bit longer and to really make it kind of stay in place. I like to heat it up with a hairdryer. Again, not the best thing to do for your lashes, so don't do this every single day. But for special occasions, like this video, um, it's absolutely fine, so. So now going in with the heated eyelash curler, it's had like two to three seconds to cool down a little bit, so let's just go in. You wanna get the root of the lashes and just press down for like two to three seconds and release. And instantly you can see a bit more of a lift with this eyelash as compared to this. And gently release. And look how much lift and curl that has given already. I Taking that Clinique mascara as well, just give it a bit of a shake before you apply. Hack number four is basically wiping off the excess mascara on just a paper towel. Or some um, toilet paper as I chose for this video. I live in a student house, I don't actually have any kitchen roll in my house, which is a bit tragic. But um, comment below if you're a student and you kind of experience the same problem too because I swear no houses that are student houses have um, kitchen roll and just by the paper towel you can kind of see like the clumpy points that would have just ended up on your eyelashes so this is a really good trick for kind of getting rid of that. Hack number five has to do with the actual application of the mascara, thank God. If you hold your wand vertically you'll have natural lashes, um, if you hold it 
horizontally you'll have kind of thicker and fuller lashes. Hack number six is doing your bottom eyelashes first. This may feel really, really weird and completely unnatural, but by doing the bottom layer first and waiting for that to dry, when you finally do the top layer, when you look down, you won't be smudging it and it will kind of just stop the smudging around your eyes when you finally get to you applying your mascara. So with my bottom eyelashes, I do like them to be a bit more natural. So I'm gonna be going back to hack number five. I'm gonna be holding my wand vertically because I want it to look a bit more natural. Now that my bottom eyelashes have dried, I'm going to be holding my mascara vertically this time for the top eyelashes and hack number... Oh god, I'm losing count. I'm honestly losing count. Hack number seven is using a business card or a kind of scrap piece of card to stop any excess mascara from transferring onto your lid. So, let go. Just look down on your mirror, hold the business card relatively close to your lashes and then kind of want to just start coating your lashes. So as you can see, the business card basically stopped a lot of the excess product from transferring onto my eyelid. Hack number eight is basically using your first coat of mascara as a primer and fully letting it dry before even thinking about moving on to the second coat. Your second coat will be your main coat of mascara, but I have a few more hacks whilst you wait for your mascara to drop. Hack number nine is whilst your mascara is still wet, you wanna be applying any sort of translucent powder onto your lashes, which will basically make your second coat appear more fuller and thicker. We're going to move on to hack number 10, which is something that I shouldn't admit to, but I'm definitely going to admit to, is that when I'm in a hurry, I kind of like to use mascara to fill in my brows. If you have dark brows, this is a absolute game changer, trust me. It makes your eyebrows look so good. I purposely left my eyebrows unfilled for this video, so I've been craving to fill them in, so here we go. and it is so quick and easy. This is something that I love to do. Just be sure not to kind of touch your eyebrows whilst the mascara is obviously setting. It gives a really nice natural filled in look. Hack number 11 is if you have a bit more time and you want to do something before your mascara, is some people just like to use mascara as a gel eyeliner. And you can literally see with two coats it would it could do as a gel eyeliner so um, that's another hack if you wanted to sort of set the formula a little bit more in place what you want to do is go in with a black eyeshadow powder on top of that moving on to hack number 12 use more than one mascara there's so many mascaras out there nowadays it's very rare that one mascara does it all um, so what you want to do is maybe use a lengthening natural mascara, which is what I did for the base. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. It's the black and pink one. This mascara is drugstore and it also on the website promises for a sensational layered multiple look, which is kind of what we want with our second layer. We want it to give a bit more kick, a bit more drama. Again, especially with mascaras like this, you kind of just want to wipe off the excess of the product. And when you go in with your second coat, you kind of want to use zigzag motions. Because you've already applied the first layer and the powder layer, you don't want it to become too many layers and therefore clumpy. So this sort of zigzag motion as you work through your lashes will kind of aim to separate them and kind of keep them unclumpy, which is what you want. And the zigzag motion will sort of give a more curled effect to your eyelashes, as you can probably tell. 
some on my eye, should have used the business card hack. And using that vertical motion again for your lower lashes. Hack number 14 is that if your lashes are still a bit clumpy, what you want to do is go through them with a brow comb. And this will really help to separate and define your lashes and sort of make it look not clumpy basically. The last four hacks are just general mascara hacks that you should keep to. Hack number 15 is don't pump your mascara. And what I mean by that is don't do that, don't do it. Because what it does is it basically pumps air into your mascara, leading it to dry out a bit more quickly. Hack number 16 is that if you want to take this lovely work off your face, then do use some coconut oil or a oil-based makeup remover. Um, one of my favourites is the Garnier Micellar Water with the sort of oil top. It removes the mascara and the waterproof makeup really easily and well. Hack number 17 is throw it away if it's expired. Like, I know I'm guilty of this too. Ideally, it should be kept for like three to six months. Um, six is really pushing the boat. But if your mascara is like a year old, just chuck it out. Drugstore mascaras have really upped their game, so it's not actually too expensive and it is an investment. Hack number 18 is that when you finally do toss that mascara after three to six months, you basically want to keep the wand. What you want to do is just soak it in some hot water and give it a bit of a scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. And after the wand is clean, you can use it to set your brows by applying a bit of hairspray on it and just setting your brows in place. If you don't want to go through the effort of cleaning your mascara wand, you can buy disposable mascara wads very easily off the internet. So just do that. It actually looks like I'm wearing false eyelashes when I'm not wearing any false eyelashes. They look so long and there's just so much drama to them um, and I am loving these hacks. My lashes have never looked so great. If you did like this video and want to see more videos like this then please give this video a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very shortly in my next video. Bye!